CBI tells the Supreme Court that it did not oppose the bail pleas of Kanimuri and four others on gender, age and health grounds. Jailalita moves the Supreme Court for permission to file written responses instead of personal appearance for the remaining questions in the Bangalore Court on the 8th. Wales Group of Institutions Chairman Isari Ganesh arrested on charges of assault of a Pachepas College trustee. The CMDA and Chennai Corporation to continue the lock and seal exercise. Notice given to 12 more buildings in Tinagar. Med Department predicts bountiful rainfall in Tamil Nadu for the next 24 hours. Jailalita assigns 13 ministers to survey affected districts. And Hollywood stacks up in numbers to pay their last respects to music maestro Elia Raja's wife. <laughs> Good evening and welcome to Headlines Now. I am Anu Josh Kanjana Topal. It's a news packed bulletin. NDTV Hindu is bringing you the latest. Let's take a quick look at the national headlines. NDTV accesses Pranab Mukherjee's detailed rebuttal on controversial 2G note tells the Prime Minister that the Cabinet Secretary had added the line on Chidambaram's role. Anna Azari writes to Prime Minister and threatens to go on a fast if there is no Lokpal bill in Parliament's winter session. Oil companies pitch for petrol price hike for fourth time this year. HPCL says a price hike of Rs 2 is necessary. The 93-year-day-old economic blockade on Manipas main national highway was lifted at midnight. A top story, a day after Supreme Court asked CBI to clarify its stand on the bail petitions filed by the people accused in the 2G spectrum scam, the CBI today told the court that it did give concessions to Kanimuri and four others by not opposing their bail pleas in the 2G case. The public prosecutor did not oppose the bail pleas and left it to the trial court to decide, says the CBI. Tamil Nadu Chief Minister Jailalita has moved Supreme Court against the Bengaluru Trial Court order directing her to appear on the 8th of November in the disproportionate assets case. In her petition, Jailalita says that the trial court is violating the Supreme Court order. She says the Apex Court had directed her to appear before the trial court on the 20th and 21st, but the trial court directed her to appear on the 8th of November to complete the questioning. Her petition says that she enjoys Z plus security category and her appearance before trial court caused great inconvenience to the public in Bengaluru and she had already answered 567 questions out of 1,339 and requested if she would be allowed to answer the rest of the questions by written statement instead of appearing on the 8th of November. The Chief Minister is facing trial in 66 crore disproportionate assets case. She has been accused of accumulating wealth during her tenure in 1991 to 1996 as Chief Minister. Well-known educationist Isari Ganesh was arrested this morning by the Chennai police. The cops say the action against Ganesh, who runs the Vale Group of Institution, was based on a complaint that it assaulted a member of the Pachepas Trust during a board meeting. A crime correspondent Salim reports. A dramatic turn of events for this man, the brain behind the Wales Group of Educational Institutions in Chennai. Aisuri Ganesh has been sent to the Pural Prison on six charges, which according to police sources range from criminal intimidation to assault. The police say they acted on a complaint filed by Shiva Subramanian, one of the trustees of the Pachayapas Trust Board. The complainant alleged that he participated in a meeting convened by the trustees of Pachayapas Board on Monday and that he was assaulted by Aisri Ganesh following a verbal argument, a charge denied by Ganesh's lawyers. Today, Mr. Aisri Ganesh, who is the Chancellor of Wales University, arrested by the police for the previous grievous uh, vengeance, fabricated complaint. Fabric, for the fabricated complaint. We're expecting uh, as soon as we'll get the bail for him. Ganesh had started his political career as a student leader of the AIA DMK, but switched his loyalties to the DMK. Over the years, he set up a chain of elite schools and colleges. Ganesh's bail petition is posted for hearing at the Sessions Court on Wednesday. In Chennai with Salim, this is Krishnamurti for NDTV Hindu. Meanwhile, heavy rains continue to lash many parts of the state, including Chennai, as the northeast monsoon remained active over the state today. Morning office goers faced much difficulty as overnight rains continued in the morning in many places, with low-lying areas remaining undaunted. The regional Met Office has forecast further heavy rainfall in Tamil Nadu and Puducherry for the next 48 hours. 
Meanwhile, Chief Minister Jay Lalita has assigned 13 MLAs to visit rain-affected districts. Tamil Nadu Chief Minister J.J. Lalita today directed release of water from two dams in the state that will benefit irrigation of over 34,000 acres in three districts of the state. Following requests made by farmers, the Chief Minister ordered release of water from Manjala Dam in Theni for irrigation of over 5,259 acres at Theni and Dindikal districts. Further, water would also be released from Amaravati Dam in Tirupur for irrigation purposes, covering over 29,387 acres in Tirupur and Karur district. The release said, adding water from the two dams would be released from the 2nd of November. Next time you enter a petrol station, be alert so that you are not duped. The Consumer Association of India has offered tips on how not to get cheated at the petrol pumps. They said, wherever possible, patronize company-owned and company-operated pumps that are manned by the oil company officials themselves and always ensure that before the fueling process is started, the pump board display reading is set at zero. You can also lodge a complaint if you feel you have been shortchanged. The phone numbers and the office addresses are prominently displayed at the station and the complaints are quickly attended to. To find out the correct delivery of petrol and diesel in petrol pumps, the assistant controllers of legal metallurgy will make a bi-month inspection. Bi-month inspection means uh, once in two months. For that purpose, each and every assistant control of legal metallurgy will have one pilot test conical measure. That test conical measure will be tallied and calibrated with the working standard capacity measures. The International Justice Mission launched a grassroots campaign against bonded labor to help vulnerable communities understand the impact of bonded labor through street theater. The NGO will organize the campaign traveling through 50 villages in six districts across Tamil Nadu. International Justice Mission has worked closely with the government and rescued and rehabilitated over 3,700 bonded laborers so far. Today, the NGO launched its campaign at the Marina Beach in Chennai and here is a snippet of the program. Cars and bikes go up in flames in Kotupuram. We'll tell you what led to the scene when we return on the other side of the break.